Minister for Homabi County, Kajuang Moses Otieno. And thank you, you did not even bother to shout or to all. <laughs> yeah, that is the way I want us to move. Mr. Speaker, I want to encourage the House that we don't have to fight on every matter. I know the first two sittings of this House have been a bit tumultuous, but there are some things which we must take a common position as a House. And Mr. Speaker, I refer to Standing Order Number 181, that talks about the Committee of the Whole to anchor my point of order. I also bring my experience. In the last Parliament, or in the last Senate, I'm perhaps the only Senator who was fortunate to chair two committees, Public Accounts Committee and the Devolution Committee. And Mr. Speaker, the impunity that was there in the Executive, as a chair of a committee, you could never get the Ministers or Cabinet Secretaries to appear before committees. And that impunity was further entrenched by the leadership of the House that shielded the cabinet secretaries. Mr. So Speaker, you would find people going on retreat between the Matiangi-led NDIC, I think it was called NDIC, and the leadership of the Senate, and they would agree in hotels. You'd find a situation where a committee has summoned a cabinet secretary, and the cabinet secretary goes to the Speaker's office to negotiate whether they should appear or they should not. Mr. Speaker, this matter, as raised by Senator Mogheni, is so clear in the Constitution. And, you know, the, the matter raised by Senator for Kakamega, when that mess is lowered, we can go into committee of the whole. And a member of the executive can come to this house and can be grilled and can be put to task. The only thing we cannot do without a constitutional amendment is to bring members of the executive in this house when that mess is on the table. Mr. Speaker, that requires a constitutional amendment. But what the president wants to achieve is achievable if he talks to, to his CSS to desist from impunity. And what encourages me, Mr. Speaker, Kipchumba Murkomen are sat in this house, will be a cabinet secretary. I don't expect we'll have to drag him. Soi Pantuya, Kindiki Kithure, Mithika Linturi. I think we might be having one of the best, uh, uh, you know, executive teams. So, Mr. Speaker, on this matter, on this matter, we don't even have to be majority and minority. The provisions are there. What we need to deal with is the impunity that we saw in the last...